Hi and welcome, I'm Teresa Crawley at TransWest Truck Trailer RV. I'm excited today because normally I'm always showing you a motorized motorhome. Today I get the chance to show you a really beautiful pre-owned fifth wheel. Um, this is something that got traded in and is in immaculate condition. It's a very high end fifth wheel. Um, believe it or not, it's a 2020 uh, Grand Design Solitude and it's the floor plan 390 RK. Now this um, fifth wheel is 41 and a half feet long and I want to show you some of the things that make this outstanding as a fifth wheel. Um, one of the things you're going to hear me say over and over is storage. So let's get started. We've got five slide outs on this coach. So what that means is when everything's opened up, you've got a ton of living space. Um, this is something you could take on the road for months at a time and sustain a great camping adventure. Um, right here, you'll see tons of pass-through storage all the way up and down. Another awesome thing about this coach is we have an electronic leveling system. So that means you don't have to go and get these up on blocks and guide your partner to get it at just the right spot. You just push a button and auto level. And these levelers down here, there's six of them on this coach, are gonna go down and level for you. Awesome. You're gonna get spoiled in this fifth wheel. Over here we have your water bay with a whole house water filtration system but they also made a nice guide on there so you can see how to um, winterize, sanitize, et cetera. And then there's an outdoor um, shower spigot there. Also a place to plug in um, a satellite if you're at a campground. And over here you've got some plug-ins. This coach also has two large uh, propane tanks. So we have 60 gallons in total. And those are located on either side in this bay, but we all know what a propane tank looks like. <laughs> so here's where you're gonna be plugging in, but that plug disconnects from here. And I'm gonna show you something else really cool and really nice upgrade on this coach. So you put that end that I was just showing you in here, and then it has a powered rewind reel. So if it's wet, dirty, sticky, muddy, any of those things, you're not getting it all over you to get your cord um, in a really nice manageable place. It's also up a little bit so you can put more stuff underneath and not just have everything on the mucky cord because they do get pretty dirty sometimes. Again, more pass-through storage. Lots and lots. Back here they included a ladder, and this does have a walkable roof, or decking they would call it, so you could actually put chairs up there and watch an ass car or whatever it is that you do on top of a fifth wheel. <laughs> Back here, another incredible storage situation. Check this out. A lot of times, that backspace wouldn't be very usable if you couldn't reach the things that you were putting back here. So they made this really nice slide out tray with carpet. Um, that's gonna help things not to slip around and it'll help with sound and uh, insulation, noise, things like that. More storage. There's also lights down in all of these cubbies in the bottom. I didn't turn them on because it's already really bright today, but that's really handy if it's nighttime and you're trying to find something down here. Under our 16 foot awning, really nice place to have a barbecue or a fire pit, hang out with your family. It's lit for nighttime as well. And then down here, on that side of that pass-through storage that I showed you earlier, there's more space over here and a central vac system. So that vacuum system can be used down here to clean out your bays, but it also is um, inside of the coach, so I'll show you how to use that inside as well. Let's go on in. Cool. 
So again, storage. It's the first thing you're gonna see when you walk in here. Got a hanging closet. Got some more here. Another, just a side note, these are solar uh, panel. Um, it's telling you how much they're charging right now. And, and the reason I'm saying that is because this does come with two 170 watt solar panels on the roof. So those are gonna keep your batteries um, beefed up while you're out and about. Here's where all your power um, equipment is. You can also check your batteries, fresh tank. How much is in, in my tanks? Do I need to go dump? Do I need to fill up, etc. Your slide out controls are all here as well. And your interior light is here. So when you walk in, you're not stumbling around in the dark trying to find a light switch. Now down here is where that vacuum system is that I was talking about. So this is one where you would plug in the hose and this is a kick plate. So you just sweep into that, sweep, and it'll just suck everything up right there. And then we'll go up the stairs here, more storage. Then in here, this is probably the biggest bathroom I've ever seen in a fifth wheel. So you've got a residential size tub shower situation here. This is actually a porcelain toilet with a foot flush. And that matters when you're sitting on it. It's not gonna be creaky or things like that. Two vanities, or two sinks rather. So plenty of room to get ready. Lots of storage room for anything you'd wanna put down in here. And then also more linen storage over here on the sides. So top and bottom. And for the tall people watching, there is a skylight in here. So you can fit a very tall individual into this shower. All right, into the master bedroom. So in here we have our second of two air conditioning units. We have a king size bed, which is super comfy. I know because I was squishing on it earlier. And this is kind of a cool little thing that they do here. So it's a pull out from the bottom of the bed that you can sit on and put your shoes on it or get ready in the morning. And then it also has storage under there. So that could be shoe storage or linen storage or whatever you wanted it to be. And then it just tucks away. Yeah, you could use it as a step for the bed. So here, obviously we have a nice dresser, but this is something sneaky they added. It's a felted, um, little shelf here so you can hide things, say jewelry or something like that. All your gold bars that you're bringing with you. In here, we are prepped for a washer and dryer. So if you didn't need the storage, the hanging rack, you can take these shelves out. We're plumbed to put a washer dryer or an all-in-one washer dryer unit. So this is choose your own adventure. And then back here, we have a full-size residential closet. So back here, we have a lit closet and lots of shoe storage and lots of hanging room. And they curve that so you can fit a lot of things in there. So this master bedroom is incredible. I really believe you could live in this, in this unit, but I saved the best for last. I wanted you to come see the living area and the kitchen. I'm gonna close this door so it's quieter. No? Oh, okay. So here's the living area. Now I pulled out one of the sofa beds because I wanted you to see what it was like. But this opposing one is identical, so it does the same thing. So all in all, this coach will have sleeping room for six people. That's what it looks like when you have it put back together, and it was very simple to pull out and assemble. I did this right before the video. Um, and then over here, we have these theater seats that are powered recliner, footrest, heating, and massage. And then they have little tables that you can uh, put your drink on or your laptop or whatever. So very nice, right? And then a gargantuan TV here that does swivel so you can point it toward whichever couch or person that's watching it. And then we have a fireplace that can be used as a faux fireplace for atmosphere 
or it actually will heat as well. Um, little stereo system that you could put a Blu-ray in or, or music or whatever. It, ceilings in this are also really tall to give more of a residential feel. And if you were wondering what the RK in the 390RK floor plan is, that means rear kitchen. And the weight dis distribution in a rear kitchen is better for your ride. So it's actually better for, um, for the motorhome itself too, or excuse me, the RV. Down here, they actually put a little lip so you could store shoes down there. Every little inch of space matters when you're camping. You got a little light here in case it's dark. And then here we are in the kitchen. This is incredible. So in here, lit cabinets, tons of storage. And we've even got pull out here. You could put your hand towels or whatever in there. Cookie sheets on the side, that's right. In here, this is something you don't see often in a motorhome anyway, but um, we've got a nice vent and light here. Uh, three burner gas cooktop, which looks really high end to me. And this is your oven. Really nice, great size. And everything just looks so modern. It doesn't look like your grandma's camper. So more storage, of course. Sorry, I slammed that. There's another great space for those long things that are hard to find a space for. In here we have a full-size um, refrigerator. This is a uh, propane slash electric. Tons of room in that freezer. And fridge as well. And again, this is a used, traded-in motorhome. It's in amazing shape. There's no stains or scratches, anything like that. They took really good care of this. So I say buy used when you can, save some money. This is your kitchen sink with a nice little sprayer nozzle. I took this cover off because I wanted you to see that it was a double and that it's really a good size to wash dishes and things, pots and pans. And this Corian countertop is so pretty, the little sparkles in it. This is a great place for uh, plates, even for a crock pot or a bigger appliance. You could put that here. And we've got plug-ins all over the place. I know you can't really see them because they're tucked up, but there's two on just this one section on the top. So there's one here and one over there. Over here, more counter space with a pop-up USB slash electric outlet. That can just tuck away when you're done with it. And then we have a convection microwave oven. So you could actually bake here and in your oven at the same time. You can be prepping a lot of food at the same time for your tailgate party. More storage. I don't need to open all these. You guys know what they look like. But And then here we have a nice island also with storage in it. So there's drawers over here and an opening, also a plug in there. It's unbelievable to me. This could be like a really good time. It's like a party kitchen. So here, um, obviously this is a bar situation. Um, people could watch TV or this was where the kids could eat, something like that. But they also made it with this hole in the counter, which is really so you can put your cords and things through because there's USB and power down there. So if you needed to work on your laptop or something, this also can be your desk. So super well thought out. Um, another thing I wanted to point out is that this coach is incredibly well insulated. The heating or the water tanks are really well heated. So you can actually go camping um, when it's cold outside in this coach. It's really well built. So they thought it all out. There's room for six to sleep, and this could be a great time. I would love for you to call me and ask me more questions. I can send you the specifics on this coach. Um, my name again is Teresa Crawley. You can call me at 303-684-3427. And I have one more thing to show you. When we're outside the coach, I want you to see 
how cool the steps work. If you've ever had steps on a fifth wheel before, you know you're folding and folding and probably cutting your hand open and probably breaking your nails. This, that's it. So everything's easy for you. Thanks, have a great day.